guys, it's Meredith here. And Rebecca. And this is the we blog. Oh, talk like that. Yay. 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 Today we have a very lovely video for you today. We have another oh. review movie edition of... The Amazing Spider-Man 2. This is yeah. four. Yeah. Woo. Doubles. Doubles. Yeah. So we're just kind of going to do the same thing as we did last time with our last movie Three review. Three good points, one bad. Yep, three good, one bad. And it'll be pretty simple and quick, and yeah, let's get started, I guess. First of all, the CGI slash effects with the electricity and everything, I thought it was like amazing. It was just very realistic. It didn't look corny. I liked it. Second good point, um, it was more humorous. Like, I really like the Peter Parker, like, humor. It's just, like, so cute and, like, innocent, but it's also, like, a serious matter. But it's not all, like, oh, my God, the city's going to ruins. We're all going to die. Blah. It's, like, kind of lighthearted. I enjoy that. And then... <laughs> What are you even? She's. I'm just gonna keep going. The third good point. Third good point. Um, it was more like romantic and humor. Wait, I didn't mean humorous. 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 <laughs> humorous again. It was more romantic and like touching, like with um. I almost said Scarlet. <laughs> yeah. With Gwen's speech at the end, even though it wasn't like the entire speech, they leave that part of it. I think. Yeah. Either way, it was like really touching, kind of like, oh, uh, many all moments were had, even though there were sad moments, but you know. And the bad part, I thought, was like, at the end, where the Green Goblin came in, I kind of felt like it was a big cliffhanger, which I mean, I know it's kind of supposed to be, because that sort of is the point of the whole next movie, but it just kind of felt like it could have been integrated like earlier, Yeah. then just like right at the end, all of a sudden, he's the Green Goblin, he has his stuff, wow, he kills Gwen, like... It's just, I don't know. Yeah. I just kind of felt like that was unfinished. Yeah. I agree with pretty much all that she said, even though that isn't exactly what I wrote. But now my first good point would be, I thought, and it had to deal with the effects, I thought the effects and just the scene all together with Electro and Times Square, yeah. like that specific scene where he like blew up Times Square was actually probably my favorite part of the movie. Because it, it was so crazy. And like, I just like, I just like his character. It was like so realistic. And just, it was just so amazing. And then, um... The second part, I just put Harry Osborne in general, like, the character, Dane DeHaan did a great job playing him and stuff, like, and he wasn't the original, like, they originally pretty much told Dane DeHaan, no, we don't want someone like you to play him, like, they didn't want someone of, like, that, like, look and character, I guess, but eventually, like, he got the role and stuff, and I think he did good, I think they did good actually picking him in the end. Good on you, Dane DeHaan, for not quitting, and just good on you for, you know, playing the good part, and everybody played an amazing part, I, I think know. everybody's acting I was think phenomenal. Really just it and then, um, so well. the third thing was I'm so happy that, like, Paul Giamatti is in the movie that he's probably going to be one of the possible villains for the next movie, I feel, since, like, it ended, like, the end part kind of dealt with him, like, in that, like, weird rhino oh, technology yeah. thing. That's like, like, I figured I was, like, maybe that's different. foreshadowing that he's going to be in the next movie yeah, as some kind of villainous about, character. Like, of those yeah, things. so if he's going to be some villainous character in that, that is amazing because he... He's good at playing villainous characters, plus Paul Giamatti's just, like, one of those legendary actors. Yeah. So, um, I'm the very Russian. happy about that. And then, um, the bad thing, I didn't like that at the end, they didn't put Gwen's whole speech. They only put a portion. And I feel, they left out the part about why, like, how, like, like, why life is so precious. And it's like, that was the one part I thought would have made like it relevant. fit with that scene. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, she, she died. So, obviously, you know, know, like, talking about how precious all these moments in life are. And they left that part out. Like, they cut it off. It was still very good. It's just, like, I felt like they should have put that part in, too, like, the whole speech. So, I mean, they could have done better on that. But it was an all-around good movie, yes. and... And then uh, made me cry. Like, literally, when Gwen fell, I was sitting like this, fighting my knuckle, and I... Oh, God. Yeah, I, was, I like, was waiting for it, because, you know... When she hit was, the ground, too, and, like, her back, like, snapped, and... Um, yeah, her egg was cracked. That was sad. I don't like it. Yeah, when she started bleeding out the nose, I, I know, said, when, she, literally when I, I, I said saw, they didn't crack Literally, her. when I saw the blood dripping from the nose, I was like, oh, my God, she's actually dead. This isn't yeah. okay. Well, I figured they were because pretty much, you know, That's if so you, bad. you know, they have to follow the comics yeah, in order to get everyone happy, and so, yeah, it's just, it was a good movie, though. Very great. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. 10 out of 10 would go see To be yeah. very honest, in some ways I liked it better than Captain America. Um, I, I can't say that all together because I do enjoy Anthony Mackie oh. and um, Scarlett Johansson, I mean... You, if you don't know me, you don't know. But if you know me, you certainly know. 
Um, like I'm staring at my two posters right by my bed of She's Scarlett Johansson. Lying. My phone background Scarlett Johansson and my computer background Scarlett She's Johansson. Really it is lying. bad, it is unhealthy, and I don't care. My queen is Scarlett Johansson. And so yeah, I that's the only reason that Captain America would still hold a high place with me like that. that but if it wasn't for her, if Black Widow wasn't in it, I'd like the Amazing Spider Man 2 better. It was just I feel like almost the effects were better in some of it because they had to do the electro thing with well, all the weird yeah. like electric and stuff. Like with Captain America, he's old fashioned so they don't have all like, that different stuff. I like them both more for different reasons. Yeah, like, Captain America had more fighting in it. I think yeah. Yeah. More fighting. Because he's more combat based. Yeah, and then Spider Man is more just like agility, kind of like yeah, cool he's a combat kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. That's just, I just can't yeah. get over Electro. That was like literally what she said about the scene in Times Square was like blowing your mind. Like, that crazy. was like the best scene it of the whole movie. Really it was good. so badass. Like, I feel like that was just the um, whole like the best description of that whole scene is just badass. Yeah. Like I mean, yeah. Electro, Jamie Foxx, you did it. Yeah, I feel like hands Jamie down. Fox, Jamie Foxx did a really good like job with his character, like being like the dude that no one noticed to going to that. It just, yeah. I enjoyed it. Jamie Foxx. The character felt was beautiful. That was our movie review. Yay. Hope you enjoyed. Yay. Enjoy. So, <laughs> thumbs up this video and comment below what you thought about the movie. Give us your thoughts, your if you agree with us or not, and what you think, like predictions for the next movie, all that kinds of stuff. Yeah. Because that's what we're here for. If you watched our previous video, which you'll... You know we want to I'll put that link here because that's an important video. Right, it pretty much describes our channel. And, uh, yeah, or you could just click the channel to subscribe, and while you're there, watch the video, whatever you want to do. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <clears throat> yes, 10 out of 10 would recommend, but pretty much that video is very important to discuss, like, what our purpose is. And part of that purpose is for discussion, so please discuss the video down below, you know, like, you know, just what you it. thought, if you agree, we blah, blah, blah. Yes, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I am 5, she is 5, that is 10, 10 out of 10. And Anna's, like, the extra 1%, so I guess 11 out of 10. Well, they want to get my